So I have the Real Horse 657 here. Uh, I had it for about a year now. Uh, it's a pretty good running tractor. It comes with the Compsay uh, Extended Life Cast Iron 6 horse motor. Um, some basic features is it's got a uh, 3 speed transmission plus uh, one for reverse. On the dash here, uh, we just have your ignition. You have your uh, front light or generator here, uh, choke. Uh, this would be your throttle with a uh, lock adjustable uh, on the spin. And then right here in the uh, station, you have your adjusting height uh, for your locking mechanism in regards to the sleeve hitch on the back. And I'll show you a little bit more about that in a minute. In terms of your speeds, uh, you have reverse, first, second, and third without any lows or highs. Uh, just in the middle will be neutral there. In terms of the locking mechanism for your sleeve hitch, I just uh, stating that basically you can set your draft height using this adjustment knob here and you can unlock and unlock your sleeve hitch elevation here. I'll show you an operation of that. So for elevation here basically you pull up on your knob and you can set your height depending on what your knob setting is. Bringing it back down here. I put myself in a safe safety stop basically to prevent the sleeve hitch from putting more stress on my cable mechanism here. So I just used a uh, double nut system here. For the tires on this, I have uh, 6 by 12s uh, True Power made by uh, Carlisle. Um, another one that I'd recommend is, uh, I think it's uh, Eggmaster by Firestone, which is also a 6 by 12 which would fit on here very nicely. I got a set of Bolin's wheel weights. If I had to guess, they're probably 50 pounds a piece, maybe a little bit more. They're quite stout, and uh, the bolt pattern just was pretty universal for these wheels, so we got those on there pretty easy. Um, front tires here. These are actually the original uh, wheel horse tires that came on the front. Um, I had original 6 by 12s for the back, but they were more for the uh, lawn setup and not quite as aggressive as I wanted to have for uh, gardening and tilling here. But those are the original wheel horse tires. Someone installed a aftermarket light on here. It looks to be some uh, 1950s vintage. Here on the wheel horse 657. You have a little latch here. Nice little hood ornamentation. Got a plastic gas tank. Uh, Tecumseh cast iron sleeve engine. Uh, when I got this, I just wanted to make sure I had good compression. Everything was looking good. Took it apart, put in a new head gasket just for good measure, and sealed it back up. Um, the air filter on these, it's a circular compression style can. Uh, it's very difficult to find the proper air filter for this. I had to use a uh, John Deere model lookup for that. And uh, that's that. I don't have the uh, mower deck hooked up right now, but the mower deck basically, uh, we have our pulley system here. And you have a latch mechanism, which would put tension on the secondary idle pulley, which would put more tension basically on the drive pulley um, for the uh, mower deck. Um, the mower deck is a very quick attach, easy system. Basically, you have two tied drop downs here and a safety pin, which will hold uh, these from swinging open. There's a bar that comes across. You swing this up here and it locks into place and the uh, um, tertiary attachment would hook up to your elevator mechanism here which is used for the sleeve hitch. You would disconnect the connection for the sleeve hitch here with your elevator and uh, you can see you connect it basically on this bar right here which is connected to the sleeve hitch. Um, so you'd have a bar right here coming up from your mower deck and it'll click into here and then you can set your ride height for your deck um, based off the angulation of the rear mower deck. You have your brake system here which is just a simple uh, drum brake type mechanism that's adjustable plus a parking brake mechanism right there. Um, you got multiple grease ports which makes these quite serviceable machines. Um, you have a gre grease port by the steering mechanism here and uh, out in front. One last thing I was going to show you was you have your uh, latch mechanism for your seat. Pushing the latch mechanism back the uh, seat console basically comes up uh, I found myself a neat little Tupperware that fits in here with some extra spare parts that seals up nicely and extra cotter pins and what have you. Uh, and then within here itself, 
I do have the manual as well for the wheel horse uh, 607 and 657 uh, which are very similar models you can get these online I think I got mine off eBay for I'd say 20 or so dollars All right, so then right here we have a 10-inch uh, Brindley plow that I got for this. Um, you can pick these up off Craigslist. You can also pick them up new. They're like 320 bucks new. I think I got this uh, for 75 bucks off Craigslist. Um, you got basic parts here. This attaches to the sleeve hitch on the back uh, with our adjustable arm that I was talking about before. Uh, this is called the uh, uh, um, cutler, I believe. This is the grease port for this, which only comes on kind of the older models. Basically, as you are passing by, uh, getting up a clog of earth, once you hit your frog here, the dirt's going to peel up. Uh, if you don't have something to cut it, uh, like this cutler wheel, basically your dirt will pile up um, like a big wave on the upper arm here, and it'll lift your plow up uh, from uh, underneath the ground. So won't be plowing anymore. This basically is an adjustment to adjust your uh, angle or your pitch of your frog and your blade uh, to determine how deep you want to cut uh, based off how fast you're going to and uh, that's pretty pretty much it Thank <laughs> you. 